open opportunities to score. It's been a defensive battle. This third place game. Jambio Cook misses. Alex is already able to defend well the three-point shooting of Etiland. Only six conversions in this game. Now, I'm not sure why Etiland continues to go to that three-point shot. It hasn't been working. They might want to shake things up a bit. Kenneth Ikalo has now returned to the ball game. Baguio to Miranda. Quick hands there. Zongyo Gyun gets away from the defense and finally gets a basket for Etelan. Chong was actually about to be replaced by Kim Sang Kyu. But Coach Yu Dohun, after that play, well, he cancels it because you see it here. And still, Chong ignites something positive on his side. Eventually, it's Kim Sang Kyu still checking in, but for a different guy, Kim Nak Yon will be replaced. Two forty-seven remaining. Jong Yu Gyun looking to complete the three-point play. Basket is good. That's a very important sequence there. Three points enough to create a well, more separation favoring Etienne. Michael Miranda three points. That's good. That keeps the Road Warriors in the ball game. Big three for Michael Miranda. <laughs> Jung Yung Kok. Jung Yung Sam. Down low. Jung Yu Hun. Good yeah. switch there. Miranda. That's the block. Chong Son to a running. J.R. Kinyahan. Gonna get that one to go. Kinyahan again. Block. By Jung Hyuk Hyun. Credit that to the main man of the Etiland Elephants. A great recovery on defense. Under two minutes remaining. Jung Hyuk Sam. Talio is down on the floor. Mike Miranda. Floors. Jung Yung Sam with that attack to the basket. And that foul was already after the whistle. And that's why it's going to be a unsportsmanlike foul on Michael Miranda. He'll pick up his fourth foul. Tanya lost his balance there. And, uh, adding to the problems of Ednex here with that sportsman like foul. It was completely unnecessary with him knocking down a three pointer on one end. And then now, calling well, a good, a very decent free throw shooter. Well, you have to go back to your place earlier when Miranda got entangled with Jung Yung Sam. Yeah, but. You know, it was a basketball play. I, I didn't think Jung Yong Sam did not do anything to deliberately hurt Michael Miranda. It was retaliation to number one, number one to something that wasn't that brave to begin with. And number two, retaliation that at the very crucial part of the game, something that will hurt Enlex more than help them. First free throw is good for Jung Yong Sam. So this is a two free throws plus possession for uh, Etiland Elephants. Two for two for Jung Yong Sam. Another free throw here. Well, the thing was, the, the first foul was on Talio, and that already, because they were in penalty, gave Jung Yong Sam two free throws. And then, after that, there was an unsportsmanlike foul on Miranda, giving him two more, giving 
Jung, two more free throws. And then Itilan will take possession after this as well. 4-4-4 four, four, four for Jung Jung Sam. Asi Taulava on your screens. Yet such a great game here. 11 points and 13 rebounds for the 45-year-old Taulava. And he, if he could have only played 40 minutes, you know, maybe this game would be much different. You gotta give the man a lot of credit. Still able to play that kind of basketball, even at 45. Jomio Bjorn couldn't get that one to go. Last stand for Enlex. Ighalo attacks. Ighalo scores. Lead is down to seven here. A minute and 16 remaining. Kim sang -kyo. Holding on to his left shoulder. Kim now, he collided with Tinyan earlier. Just uh, shaking off that collision. He's good to go. It's just a seven point advantage for Etiland. Not yet completely safe for them, and that's why they want to execute and get a bucket here. To Yung San, to Kim Nakyon. Kim Nakyon. Jung Jung. Sam, shot clock winding down. Three ball, no good. Makali with the rebound. Very and important possession here. And Lex in a hurry here. Talio, nowhere to go. He goes to Talio. Talio still. Down low to Kinyahan against Kim Sang Kyo. Kinyahan deep in the paint, he scores. Point eight seconds remaining. Etiland sues for time. They're ahead by five. Gets in there. Five to 60, 32.8 seconds remaining. Etiland with possession. Leading this uh, team from the Philippines and Lex. Of course, the Etiland Elephants from Incheon, Korea. You gotta give a lot of props to this Etiland team. Only seven made field goals in the second half. They survived a massive run from the Philippines from uh, Enlex in that third quarter. Corner three, what, miss once again. Battle for the rebound. It goes to Enlex, 11 seconds remaining here. Hey, mi miracles do happen. And crazy finishes in basketball, we've seen them. Chongson, still Chongson, dribbles it off his foot. Egalo picks it up. Lead is down to three, 4.2 seconds remaining here. Kim Sang Kyol. That's a foul on Michael Miranda. And Kim Nakyun gives up his uh, fifth foul. It's an sportsman like foul on Michael Miranda. And that's going to be his second unsportsman like foul. And Michael Miranda will also be thrown out of this game. So two NLEX players. A bit That's the second Dave Marcelo earlier Marcelo ejected for a disqualifying Miranda. foul on Park Bong Jin. And now Michael Miranda has followed him to the showers after uh, his whistle for, for a second unsportsmanlike foul. That effectively ends 
the Anlex resistance here. Oh, Mike seemed to have caught a glimpse of that basketball, made a swipe for it, and caught the head of Kim nak -hyun. And that's why the Korean guard at the free throw line now, converting on both of them. And that should be enough for ET Land to be able to hold on to this victory and to be able to bag the third place here in the Asian League Summer Super 8. Confirmation of this ET Land Elephants victory over the NX Red Warriors in the battle for third in the Asian League Summer Super 8. The Elephants with a 67-62 win over the team from the Philippines. And Lex, it was a tough and tight defensive battle and got physical as well, but the Elephants somehow survive and come away with the win. A couple of players being thrown out for the Philippines, and that ultimately led to the advantage of Land. They bucked a very slow second half, able to survive it. 67 to 62. Unfortunately, after sweeping Group A of the elimination round, they were only they were only able to get this far. But they don't. They still go home with a medal, with a bronze medal. So it is. And Sean Eatland Elephants taking the bronze here in the Asian League Summer Super Eight. Our best player of the ball game, Kim Sang Kyu of the ET Land Elephants. And Kim, it got physical in the fourth quarter against NLEX. How did you guys manage to keep your poise and get away with the victory? Uh, well, we already knew Filipino team is a very physical team. We try to uh, uh, not to get involved in a lot of fights, but you know this is competition. You know uh, physical things that happens, so uh, uh, no, it just worked out. It's it's all good. It's a great game. A great game indeed for the ET Land Elephants. Congratulations, third placers in the Asia League Summer Super 8.
仁川东土大校队获得超级八比赛的第三名。有我们热烈的掌声，恭喜晒来自于韩国嘅仁川东土大强队获得超级八亚季联赛嘅第三名。A round of applause, please, for our bronze medalist. Once again, congratulations to the Easy Land Elephants of Incheon, Korea. Let the audience once again hear the warm applause. Thank you, the Korean Easy Land Elephants of Incheon, Korea, who won the third place in the competition. Now we will use a more warm applause. Thank you, the Korean Easy Land Elephants of Incheon, Korea. 第三名。Ladies and gentlemen, do stick around because coming up next, the championship, the gold medal match of the Asian League Summer Super 8 between the Guangzhou Law Lions and the Seoul Samson Thunder. Thank you.
Basketball, 16 games. We're down to the last one. The gold medal match of the Asia League Summer Super 8, bringing you the action between the Guangzhou Long Lions and the Seoul Samsung Thunders. Good day to you, basketball fans, wherever you are in the world. Jot Sulit and Sedelf Tupas, one last time for the Summer Super 8, bringing you basketball action from the Macau East Asian Games Dome. We already saw these two teams battle it out in the elimination round of Group B. That game, the Seoul Samsung Thunders came out on top by five points. What do you expect to change or to remain the same here in the finals? Well, definitely another down-the-wire contest expected here between these two teams. Seoul Samsung Thunders, they got confidence right now. Because of that win in the elimination round, they've actually racked up three straight wins to reach this point in the tournament didn't get off to the best of starts, losing to Blackwater Elite in the Philippines in their first game. And Guangzhou Long Lions beating the NLEX Road Warriors and uh, winning against uh, the Fukuoka Rising Sepper and uh, Blackwater in the elimination round. Of course, this is the guy to watch for Samsung League One. He picks up from where he left off from the last game. He's the second leading scorer in the tournament. The number one scorer on the other side, Xu Ming Shin. 
and the adjustment you see the respect that these two teams are giving not only the opponents but also the importance of this game usually coach Juan Antonio Orenga would save at least one of the guys Mokhtar Gokai or Jumin Shin and would come off the bench now that he's deployed all three of them to begin this battle well he needs all of his guns there coach Juan Antonio Orenga needs Everyone, every hand on deck. Because, you know, although the Samsung Thunders, they give up a lot of height, you know. But this is a very disciplined, very hardworking team. And just like any other Korean team, relies a lot on their outside shooting. And they usually get those shots. The man in the free throw line, Zhu Ming Shin. He's a very reliable slasher, but he does experience some trouble at the free throw line. And, then also, and he also gets frustrated easily, Zhu Ming Shin. And that's something that probably the Samsung Thunders can uh, really exploit. Hong by the baseline, no good. Go trying to save or get the possession for the Guangzhou Long Lions. You know, one player that is going to be key here for Samsung Thunders is, I see, is Junji Boom, their point guard. He was, you know, the catalyst in that game that they won in the elimination round. They was playing the passing lane very well. And, you know, if the Long Lions, let's just take a look at that open three from uh, Lee, a miss on the putback from Hong Sun Kyu. You know, if they get, you know, sloppy and lazy with their passing, this guy, Jun Gi Boom, can easily take that ball away and start the break for Samsung. Here's Sun Ming Sin. Min Yang, rather. Sun Min Yang. Zhu Ming Shin. Three point attempt for the Long Lions, missed by Mukhtar. Lee Guan Yi gets the rebound. He had a double double in the first time these two teams met. 27 points, 10 rebounds. Scoring on the points here. But you have to keep a tighter watch on Lee Guan Yi. You cannot allow the guy to probe and really get his timing when it comes to slashing and, and taking it strong to the hole. So the, the strength of the long lines in this tournament has truly been their size. There are very talented guards like Sharajan Mokhtar who attacked and got the foul. But the trouble that they brought were really because they have Wang Yue, Jing Zhen, Go Kai and joining them since the semifinals also was Sun Min Yang. How was Samsung Thunders able to counter that and get a win? Well, you see early on they're playing the zone and then that totally probably helps negate that size advantage for uh, you know for for Guangzhou and that zone is uh, you know a lot tighter than it uh, than it looks. Now they're preventing those inside passes. As uh, take a look at Mukhtar picking up his own miss on the free throw line. Yeah, actually, it, it's the Soul Samsung Thunders that has had the most success in limiting the bigs of Go Kai and uh, Cheng Jin as an unsportsmanlike foul is whistled. Kim Dong Ok and Sun Min Yang getting engaged here. Lee Guan He and Mukhtar also. Speaking with each other, trying to calm their camps. That's an enforcement yeah, foul, but and uh, Hong dropping dropping to the ground that time, Just selling that call as well. He gets hit by the knee of uh, Sun Min Yang. Just not sure what Sun was trying to do there. The play was far away from them. They may have been frustrated by the defense of Hong Sun Q. Anyway, I was talking about how the Seoul Samsung Thunders were able to limit Go Kai and Zheng Zhen, the two bigs of Guangzhou in their first meeting. Only six points for Go, only two points for, for Zheng. But what I'm interested in is the number of attempts that the Thunders allowed those to combine six attempts only, or eight attempts only combined, rather. Battle for the loose ball that time, and you know that I think Guangzhou took their foot off the pedal in that game. 
because they were already in, in, you know, in a good position to reach the semifinals, and that was a time where they can really rest their, their, their other players. And uh, that cost them. That's another foul that's going to be called. This time on Shadali Jen Mukhtar. It looks like part of Guangzhou's game plan is to bring the physicality to the Thunders. Well, the Thunders, they've played against the Blackwater Elite, a, a, a physical team as well. I don't think they're, go not, they're going to have uh, problems here against the, the Long Lions. They expect that, especially against the, the Chinese team with a lot of size. That was a turnover for the Thunders. The first time these two teams met, it was the Long Lions that experienced a lot of problems taking care of that basketball. 16 errors for them, while Seoul, Samsung, only having eight. Jiang min picks up a foul, and that's going to be his second. So foul trouble here for, for Jiang min Gok, a really important player. Had 18 points yesterday against the Etiland Elephants in that win. The thing about Jiang min Gok is he's not necessarily the star player you'd identify. But you call upon him, and he's going to deliver. Now it's the Thunders with the basketball, Chon. Player down on the floor again, that's Hong. Cross court to Jam, attacks baseline. Good hands from Yao, they get a steal there. Maktar leading the break, leaving it for his teammate. There are four players, Juming Shin finishes underneath the basket, despite what you would say is poor spacing for the long line. Juming Shin that time, finding a way. Oh, that's just a beautiful pocket pass from Chon Gi Bom. Hong Sun Kyo looked like he wasn't confident enough to take that shot. A wide open shot as uh, Kim Dong Ok attacked. That time on the second serving, he gets that one to go. The Thunder is going quickly. Yao, good defense on Lee. Chang from outside, he's got that shot. Missing this time. Chu getting the board. Chu. Wanting to go coast to coast is fouled by Lee. Those two oh, top scorers from both squads going head to head combining there. Juming Shin very aggressive early on. He's a man on a mission. Juming Shin. Uh, the Long Lion certainly the more emotional, more demonstrative team in terms of reacting to the calls, reacting to the physicality. The Koreans, you know, a little more co controlled, a little more composed. Remember that Seoul also started their tournament with a loss to the Blackwater Elite. And since then, they've gone perfect. And they've gone all the way to the big dance here in the finals of the Asian League Summer Super 8. I still can't believe, really, that we're already in the final game. Things have gone so fast here in Macau. And when you're being entertained by high level basketball every single day, well, it's just a breeze, really. Well, you certainly don't mind, you know, with the level of basketball with, we're seeing here. And, you know, this may be an off season tournament. But if you're a team here in the continent, certainly this is something. If you if you want to prove something, certainly you can look at this tournament as a as a gauge and as a way to really to sharpen up. And you go back to your you know, to your country and, and and play high level basketball. But this is a great experience here and a showcase for the top teams in the continent. Absolutely, and that's going to be an offensive foul on Hong. His first. And now Sun Min Yao getting replaced by the seven footer in Cheng Chen. That's the first personal The fifth development for Samso with Jiang Min Go. Already with three fouls and he's on the bench right now. But you see the defense of the Thunder staying strong. That's actually two important players already in foul trouble for Samso. Li Guan He also with two. Shu Ming Shin. He's one guy who's excellent at drawing fouls, but did not was not able to draw on, on that sequence. 
but got two points. Well, you saw that familiar move from Ju Ming Shen, the sidestep, and uh, taking off with his off foot, his left foot rather. Chon, pass taken away, Ju again, using that familiar sidestep. 99% of the time, it will result to a conversion. 10 to 7 now, Guangzhou ahead, forces the Seoul Samsung Thunder to call a timeout. watching the finals of the Asia League Summer Super 8 between the Guangzhou Long Lions and the Seoul Samsung Thunders. Zhu Ming Shin, perfect from the field right now with six points. He started aggressively here, Zhu Ming Shin. Was quiet against the uh, NLEX Road Warriors yesterday, but gets the start here for Coach Juan Antonio Orenga, and he's delivered so far, scoring with that familiar sidestep. Turnovers of Samson here in the first, hurting them. Zhu again, still perfect. Four of four, eight points for him. Uh, Zhu Ming Shin, really making a strong case here as the best player of this tournament. The former national team, uh, Chinese national team player. Well, you know, Sadel, we're already in the final game of the Summer Super Eight. But we're very happy to announce that we're still going to be having another excellent tournament. Let's take a look at the swipe, the swipe of Mokhtar beating Zhu Ming Shin. We're going to be having a bigger one in September. The Terrific 12 coming to you from Macau as well. September 18 to 23. Mark your calendars for that. But before we get to that, we need to settle one here first. We need a champion in Super 8, Gokai, trying to will his team to victory. And the big dance gets fouled there, we'll head to the free throw line. Well, Samsung now struggling to get good shots off against this defense of the Guangzhou Long Lions. Lee Guan He has been replaced here. And Gokai, now the good thing about Guangzhou Long Lions is that when they're not in their rhythm, we can, they can just dump that ball inside to the likes of Gokai or Zheng Zhen, and, and things happen for them. Also, Zheng Zhen yesterday in the semifinals when they played the NLEX Road Warriors had a bunch of three-pointers and it just showed a whole new different weapon for the Guangzhou Long Lions. He had three three-pointers then. So it's going to be tough, you know, for a seven-footer stepping out and firing the three because really nobody can defend that. Here come the Thunders. Pick and roll play. They send it out. Kim Dong Uk. Three ball is good. Uh, Greg Cole moving right there for the Seoul Sound some Thunders. Chamin Suk recognizing his wide open captain. Here's the three we talked about. Chen Chen continues his mastery. And I'm seeing a lot of applause from the fans. They were surprised. I guess a lot of them did not watch yesterday. Well, they're appreciating this, you know, the level of skill on the part of a seven-footer in Zheng Zhen in firing that outside shot. So they'll talk about how basketball has evolved. Several years ago, 
If you're a center taking a three-pointer, you're gonna hear a mouthful from your coach. But now, it has almost become a necessity, that three-pointer, whatever position you play. Yeah, absolutely. The game has evolved from the time when, you know, you just need the big man to stand in the post and get the ball and create. Right now, you know, with the offense, with the style of play where everybody moves and everybody has to be a threat from beyond the arc, a player like Zheng Zhen is certainly an asset. Zheng, however, passing it to the head of Wang Yue. Be getting that rebound for Samsung. They reset it, Chuan calling the shots, asking for a pick from Be Kang Riol. Chon Gi Bom, they give him space. He could not make the pay. Almost a foul for Tian. He was lucky he didn't get whistled for it. Chon again, seven seconds on the shot clock. Kicks it out to Kim Dong Uk against Zhu Min Shin, buying some space. Could not get the shot, even the tip in was short for Be. Well, you see there how Samsung has been successful in this tournament. They may be missing some shots, but the way these players hustle, you know, the likes of Chamin Sook keeping possessions alive. And you gotta like the, the fight being shown by the Thunders. Who was able to draw a foul? Looks like it's gonna be on Choi Yun Ho. That was on number seven, Choi Yun Ho. First down, second team foul. And now the confidence of the long lines in attacking the basket sky high because. A lot of players on the side of the Thunders running into foul trouble. Well, this was the problem yesterday by the, of the Itiland Elephants against Samsung. Now the Thunders facing the same concern. They've committed eight fouls in the first eight minutes and 11 seconds of this ball game. How would you describe the kind of basketball that brought the Seoul Samsung Thunders into the finals of the Summer Super 8? It's been, you know, a whole lot of, you know, talent, offensive talent and grit. It's a combination of both. You just can't get to this position by your firepower alone. You have to work hard, you have to be resilient, and the Thunders have shown that. No go for Kim Dong Uk. Chu again with the basketball. Leading scorer of this game so far. Wang looking for Zheng Zhen. Outside shot for good, no good. Wang with offensive rebound and drawing the foul on Be. Another big man of Seoul taking up a personal there, but just his first foul, Be Kang Once again, Wang giving the Samsung Thunders a, a dose of their own medicine. Out of a three-pointer, nobody boxing him out. Yes, Rushing from the three-point line and getting to the paint to collect that offensive rebound and getting fouled. And that just shows you that having a seven-footer, Zheng Zhen, he himself is not, the, is not necessarily the advantage of him being able to get rebounds. But the boxing out of the Thunders, focusing too much on him, opening up an opportunity for Wang Yue, gets free throw there. Two made for Wang. Kim Dong-ho, quick trigger from outside. No go. Who getting the rebound. Wang Cho has numbers with Be behind. They go inside to the big man. Oh, and that's going to be an unsportsmanlike foul on Be. And also his second, very quickly, in foul trouble. Uh, Coach Juan Antonio Arriga couldn't have plotted this any better. They put pressure, a lot of pressure, on the Samsung Thunders inside the paint, in the interior, where they are st stronger, bigger, and bigger. And now, see whole new problems here for the thund Thunders. Foul trouble and players really struggling to play. I apologize, it wasn't Be who was called for the foul, apparently. They give it to Kim dong Uk. And would you say that that's even a, an even bigger problem? Because Kim dong Uk is one of the two major offensive weapons of the Koreans. Well, Kim and Lee Guan hee they both have two 
personal fouls just in the first quarter. So, you know, how can you defend, especially a team as strong as the Long Lions? Absolutely. And it came to the surprise of many, actually, when the Samsung Thunders defeated the Long Lions in the elimination round. Many fans here in Macau thought that the Guangzhou Long Lions were poised to sweep Group B. But the Thunders refusing to be eliminated because if they lost that match, then it would have been the Blackwater Elite from the Philippines advancing instead of them. Oh, definitely. Oh, but Gu losing the basketball there by the baseline, apologizing to his bench. And not just, you know, not just winning, but getting the margin that they needed to advance that time. But, you know, if you're Guangzhou, you better have a quick memory. You forget about that game and focus on the task at hand. And so far, the Long Lions have been fantastic in this first period. Bold move for Coach Lee Sang-min, redeploying Jang min Gook with three fouls in the first. Lee to Choi. Throws the ball away. Heng Yi Feng able to save it. Tian going quickly. Shot clock is off. And now they realize that they will reset their offense. Tian Yu Heng taking the pick from Cheng. Attacking the middle. Able to scoop it in! What a move from Tian Yu Heng! Slicing every bit of the defense of the Seoul Samsung Thunders, giving his team a 23 to 10 lead at the end of the first quarter. Joe Long Lion showing a lot of hunger in the first quarter of the finals of the Asia League. Summer Super 8, do keep in mind that this is just one game. It's not a series. So whoever wins today will be crowned the champions of this tournament. Judd Sulit and Sedel Tupas delivering you the call here from the East Asian Games Dome in Macau. Well, so Samsung Thunder shot 4 of 18 in that first quarter. Guangzhou 7 of 12. Lee Guan He scored his team's first four points. And after that, only two other players have scored. Kim Dong Ok and Hun Sun Kyu with three apiece. Well, Lee gathering two fouls in the first quarter. Those limited him. Chang Min Guk looking to provide help. Lee saves it to Kim Dong Ok. Those three important players of Seoul, Samsung, Trouble, but Choi Yun Ho saying, don't worry, I got you. Three ball for him. Choi making just the second triple of the game for the Seoul Samsung Thunders. And as you mentioned earlier, the Long Lions, they've been sizzling hot inside and outside. Peng Yi Peng joining the scoring. That's his first three points of the ball game. Guangzhou now 2 of 5 from the three-point zone. 
finally, Samsung converting and then immediately being taken back by Heng Yi Feng. He picks up a foul though. Hit Lee Guan He on the head. Well, Lee is a very aggressive player, and more often than not, he will stir something up on the offense of the Thunders. Oh, very dangerous off the dribble. Just doesn't stop. And in a way, he's very similar with Zhu Ming Shin. He doesn't have that side set, but also very effective attacking the basket, like you said. He's got that he's got that mid-range game, he's got that elevation. Here's Lee. Trying it out from outside. Money on the three. Samsung scoring in, early, in their first two possessions here. Good news for Coach Lee Sang Min. But they need to consistently find points here. Tian felt like he was fouled. Heng giving chase. Sean far away from everyone. Tian showing evidence that he got hit on the hand. But that's a call that cannot be reversed anymore. Timeout called by Guangzhou. Samsung knocking on their door. The trophy and the medals, even that MVP plaque, all at stake here in the finals of the Asia League Summer Super 8. Truly honored to be on call for this one, delivering you action from the Macau East Asian Games Dome. Action between the Seoul Samsung Thunders of Korea and the Guangzhou Long Lions of China. This is the 16th and final game of the tournament. Six other teams already eliminated. Earlier, the, the Incheon ET Land Elephants taking the bronze medal. Wang Yue, near the basket. No, getting the offensive board. Puts it up again. Still no good. Zheng Zhen getting that offensive rebound for the second time for Guangzhou. Well, you can just see the, the size difference there underneath. And you saw, because of that, Zhang, one of the key players here, the starting power forward of Seoul, committing his fourth foul. And it, we're not just in the second quarter, we're very early in the second quarter, just a shade more than two minutes having been played here. Already four fouls for Zhang Min Guk, who we have seen is truly an important player for the Thunders in this tournament, averages. 8.7 points, four and a half rebounds. And he's one of the few big men, reliable big men, really, that well, Samson has. Well, well, he is a very important player on what, of what they do, really, because he gives, he spaces the floor very well for Samson because of his outside shooting. And he may be undersized defensively against these big men of the Guangzhou long lines, but you know he moves his feet very quickly, very well. Choi hit one from that side earlier. This is this one though. Kim Dong Uk oh, also not having a lot of success shooting the ball from the field. So Samsung Thunder is just 7 for 23 right now. As compared to 8 for 16 for Guangzhou. Tian going to Maktar. Who from the corner? Who? Long two. Oh, you need that because Seoul is playing that zone. You need to be hitting shots outside, forced to draw out defenders and you know leave open lanes there for your slashing uh, for, play for, for players to slash. There's Choi. 
getting fouled there. Sun Min Yang. He's, been, uh, he's looked a bit out of control, even when he started in the first quarter. Well, he needs uh, his timing here because, you know, Samsung and, and the rest of his teammates already got the three games under their belts before he started playing. So the sharpness, the timing is already there for these other players. And uh, Sun Min Yang has to catch up. Kim Dong Ok from outside. Yes! Trims the deficit down to single digits. Wangjo up by nine. Matar trying to set up the offense now. Again, the zone B being used by Korea. Using a 3 2 zone right now, or more of a 1 2 2 actually. Different looks on D being deployed. Matar shoots it. Misses, shoot offensive rebound, using a bump. He's just so, so composed underneath the basket. Well, another big offensive rebound from Drew. And that's what happens. He gets into a great position. Kim dong Ok really not much he can do that time. He's already in foul trouble. Lee getting fouled by Car. Oh, he already caught Lee Guan He. In a crucial or critical situation, but Mukhtar getting tempted to make the swipe, caught the arm of Lee, thus being called for the foul. You see here, at that point, all he had to do really was put his hands up. There was already enough pressure to disrupt the offense. Mukhtar wanted more, and he gets called for his third personal foul. Thunders, swing it, Lee. Three ball, it's good, back to back, hits from outside. A brilliant execution there. Kim Dong Ok making the extra pass to a, a wide open Lee Guan He using the shot fake there. One dribble pull up, book it. In the first quarter, the Seoul Samsung Thunders shot one for eight from downtown. Here in the second, they're shooting four for six. Lee again, out to Chun. Dribbles closer, looking for teammates. Chun gets it once again. Being helped out, oh, what a move! Chun getting to the cup. That's just a great move there by Chu Geek Boom. He's been creating for his teammates because, again, Guangzhou worried about the, ta the kick out pass. Chun, very smart, very clever, slithers through the gaps there and manages to improvise and get that layup to go. Everyone on the side of the long line is expecting him to pass out. And Chun, with the ability to finish, deceiving all of them, getting two points. Well, Samsung scored just 10 points in 10 minutes. Now they've scored 16 in just five minutes here in the second period. And they get a stop in the rebound. Samson wanting to draw closer. Chun sending it out to the right side. Still a lot of time in this possession for them. Chun. Oh, bad spacing between Kim and Lee. One on one. Kim Dong Ok pushed by Sun Min Yang. He's guilty. That's gonna be foul. Number three for the big man of the Long Lions. Well, Samsung, they've, they've settled very well here in the second period, especially with the way they've been running their plays. They're very comfortable with pick and roll situations because players are moving. Players are moving, and because they've been hitting their shots, Guangzhou forced to rotate now and really make a decision on whether to close out on who is the nearest shooter or, or stay there, stay stay with their man, but so far it hasn't been working here. You're right, you know, that three-point shot really changes a lot when it starts falling in. The beautiful move, not getting the result he wanted. Kim, back to Hong, out to Choi. Three ball again, this time no good. But Hong, the effort on the offensive glass, leads to that three from Lee Wan He. Can you imagine that? You know, they're not just pretty good at knocking down shots. They work very hard. 
And Lee Guan He, that tri triple, just a product of the hard work and resiliency of the rest of the team in crashing the boards and really making a conscious effort to find the opening man. First miss for Juming Shin. It's currently an 8-2 run for the Samsung Thunders. And Lee Guan He, he has been close to unstoppable whenever he sees just one defender in front of him in transition. Well, it's hard to stay in front of him. And now that the shots are falling in, it's even more difficult. I'm curious as to why that was an unsportsmanlike foul. I think he had an advantage already. But the referee seeing that. He fall full ahead of steam that time. Yao Tian Ti forced to give that up. Coach Juan Antonio Renga obviously unhappy with the call, talking to the referee, asking for some clarification. And this was once a 13 point lead. Big, big run here for the Koreans. Earlier in this game, they were already staring at a 13 point deficit. And not only that, they've stayed away from foul trouble as well in this period. So they're playing good defense. And they're also make, uh, getting stops without giving up fouls. They'll need to continue to be careful. Kim. Now it's Sean asking for a couple of screens. Horns play being deployed. Sean out to Choi. Zooming shit, two seconds on the shot clock. They have to put it up. Sean does not realize it. That's going to be a 24 second shot clock violation. Well, you got to like the adjustment from Guangzhou there. They extended their defense. Denial on Lee Guan He so that he cannot take that ball. And that time, just staying in front of the, their men there were the Long Lions and they get the defensive stop. The turnover for Samsung. Shu, trying to make things happen for his squad. They have tried a little too much there. Lee again, a running start for him. There's an opening once again. He refuses to take it. Song Shuai gets left behind. Lee, no good. Go finally, secures a rebound. We haven't seen a lot of him on offense. That's going to be another foul on Hong Sun Kyu, his second personal. I think that's a good foul for Hong Sun Kyu. Because Zhu Ming Shin was all set to pass to an open Wang underneath. You hear in the second quarter, Stealth, it's more of the Guangzhou long lines running into foul trouble as they already are in penalty. Two and 40 remaining in the period. Yao using that screen from Go. Running out of options, had to take the shot. Well, it goes in. Yao Tian Ti. Well, Yao Tian Ti, the point guard that he is, and especially the way this team is set up, he has to knock down those shots. He has to be a threat as well. Samson losing possession here. Song Shuai, we go all the way, stealing the bucket. Well, they got sloppy there, the Koreans. Coach Orenga asking for an unsportsmanlike foul on that bump. Two minutes. Felt like he was telling the referee, you called it on our end. Why don't you call it there? But our ball officials ball on top ball of ball the situation ball here, ball they call a foul on Yao Tianti. That's going to be Cho Yun Ho finding himself back at the free throw line. Or check that, Lee Guan He. Well, the threat of Lee Guan He here just causing you know, problems to the Long Lions. The clever ball fake. You know that the defender, he knows that the defender is going to get aggressive with him. And, and just that one swing of that ball drew the foul on Yao. Well, so far in this finals, Lee trying to lift his team with his own two hands. 17 points already in just 14 and a half minutes. He's also got four rebounds. Well, just a pure scorer, Lee Guan He. 
inside and outside. He's got the total package here. Sean trying to strip that ball from behind. He gets called for a foul. That's going to be the third team foul on Saul Samson. While it's going to be the first personal on Sean. Yao resetting the offense, calling for the horns play. Go and Wang Yue providing the picks. Ju now against a smaller Chon, steps back for a three-pointer, trying to beat the shot clock. Lee collects another rebound. He's on pace to get another double-double here. Well, he had 27 points against this team in the elimination round. Chon leaving it for Hong, loses the basketball. It will stay, however, with the Samsung Thunders. Well, just terrific playmaking there from Chun Ki Bom. Just not able to control that one was Hong Sun Ki. But the ball will stay with the Thunders. They trail by five. we're seeing here inside the Macau East Asian Games Dome. And during timeouts, if you're hearing through your TV sets the music blasting inside this dome, that's courtesy of DJ Nick Stampy of the Philippines, one of the best on the turntables. Lee Guan He, one of the best scorers in this tournament, already with 17, keeping his team alive after the surge of the long lines earlier. Great defense there, though, from Guangzhou. A couple of opportunities already lost by Hong Sun Kyu. Well, he has to be better there if uh, the Samsung Thunders stand a chance to ups of uh, upsetting the Long Lions again. Wang Yue. Now it's with Shu. Less than a minute to play in the first half. Shu to Gokai all alone through the defense. Juming Shin. And then at the last second, spotting his open teammate. Well, this is something that uh, Guangzhou Long Lines did pretty well in that first half. Ex attacking the paint, extra passes in the interior, and something that they veered away from in the second period. That's why the Thunders have managed to claw their way back. John being double team. He sends it out to Kim. Three, refused to be taken by the rim. Last shot time for the Long Lions. Eight seconds left on the clock. Coach Orenga barking out instructions. Hong tapping that ball out. 1.6 seconds left on the shot on the, the game clock. That was a good defensive scheme or defensive try. Well, I, Hong Sun Kyu. Well, I thought Yao uh, had the ball for too long there. Yeah, I think he needed to get into that offense quicker. And as it is, 1.6 seconds remaining. Guangzhou with the last crack in this first half. Go Kai, only three 
three points and five rebounds so far in the first half, but that man on your screens has done a lot of damage for the Guangzhou Long Lions. Zhu Shin with 10 points, three rebounds and an assist. They have 1.6 seconds to come up with something here. Yeah, with the inbound. Go. will take that difficult shot. Knocks it down. Go Kai. They count the basket. Go extending the advantage of the long lines tonight. And we hit into the halftime break. One more look at it. Defended and all. Go Kai, bottom of the net.
One he of the Soul Samsung Thunders had a terrific first half. You see the numbers already good enough for one whole game, but not good enough to get the lead over the Guangzhou Long Lions. They start the third quarter down by nine, 42 to 33. Yeah, absolutely. Big performance from Lee Guan He in that first half, but you gotta give credit to the Guangzhou Long Lions. Now they managed to survive wave after wave of uh, you know, a lake flurry and uh, go kai ending the first half with a big shot really giving them this uh, quite comfortable cushion now heading into the last two quarters 
what do you want to see from the Samsung Thunders here to maybe up their chances of bagging the championship? Well, you know, I saw, I think I, they, they have to do more of the same with what they did in the early part of the second period. The Thunders won that quarter 23 to 19, but it was the solid advantage that Guangzhou established early in the game that allowed them to stay ahead. Well, they, lo they ran out of steam in that second period. They slowed down. They scored 16 points in that first five minutes of that period. And the rest of the way, they just scored seven. So, you know, it's all about sustaining that, that intensity. But, you know, I don't see, for Samsung, Kim yun Su really an important player for them. That's right. He's not playing the main point guard. Oh, um, the Seoul Samsung Thunders, also another reliable big in Chamin Suk, usually relieves the main guys. And the use here, Tian Yan, Yao Tianti, getting another three pointer there, upping the advantage to double digits. It's a dozen. On well, the Seoul working well now. Not working really for, for Samsung that time. Chon dumping it to Hong, out to Kim dong Ok. He's been struggling from the field, shooting only two for ten. Zhu recovers the basketball. They'll wait for teammates, they'll reset their offense with Maktar. Sun providing the pick. That's Gokai underneath. Yao, five, four seconds remaining, Maktar puts it up. Unsuccessful. At that time, very fortunate where the Seoul Samsung Thunders, they forced the outside shot. Mukhtar hasn't gotten going this ball game just yet. How about on the part of the Guangzhou Long Lines? They're up right now, but is there anything that needs to change for them? Well, I think they have to use their strength, utilize their strength much more, which is points in the paint. They had 22 of them in the first half. But they just tend to fall in love with that outside shot when really they would really need to mix it up. But uh, great defensive job once again there. Shun Gi Boom. Lee shaking his head. Felt like he almost got the basketball. Just couldn't control it. Bounced off of his foot. Wasted opportunity for. The Thunders. Five seconds remaining on the shot clock of the Long Lions. Zhu, as he realized it, trying to go quickly, puts it up, almost got it to fall. And the defense of Go and Zhu forcing Li Guan He out of bounds. So it's going to be back to the Long Lions at basketball. Oh, that is a uh tough on uh, Seoul Samsung Thunders, but again, you know, the size of Go Kai, you know, pinning Lee Guan He to that side, uh, just forcing that turnover. Chu will try from outside, bottom of the net. Well, Long Lions taking what the defense of Samsung is giving them and knocking down those three balls. That's two already, earlier from Yao and now from Ju Ming Shin. Kim dong -uk. Out to Hong, the handoff to Lee from outside. He wants to take those back. Mokhtar will bring it down for the Guangzhou Long Lions. They're up by 15 now, threatening to pull away and secure this championship. Well, they've slowed the game down here, the Long Lions, and that's going to be an advantage on their part. Zhu, out to Gokai. Free throw line jumper, no. Wow, our oh, son rather was stripped off the basketball by Hong Sun Kyu. Good defense. Lee will try again from outside. This time, gets money on three. Great recognition there from King Dong Ok. A much more open Lee Guan. He's got 20 points now. And, you know, he's light on his feet on that release. Well, the he was open for a bit. That not really, you know, his shot doesn't really extend a lot. His hands doesn't really extend, a lot, but he gets a lot of power on his legs right there, and he gets a nice arc on that shot. That was where the foul was whistled. Zhu being hit 
by Hongson Hyun. Hong picking up his third personal foul. Like you said, Sidov, Coach Lee Sang Min tightening up his rotation here in the finals using nine players only. Sun doesn't get the first one, doesn't get the second. He was blocked. Lee, the running start. Lee Guan He is called for the offensive foul. Sacrifice there for Yao Kianti. Well, he got nowhere to go, really. Lee Guan He, as soon as he picked up the dribble. And Yao Kianti, how about this kid? Very quick on his feet there to get into position to draw that charge right there. I love the this battle of the point guards, Shun Gi Boom and Yao Tian Ti, both doing well on the defensive end. On offense now, the Guangzhou Long Lions. Ju. They're playing off of that middle with Go Tai now spotting hard for their third three point shot of the third quarter. You are a very important player, especially at the high post because it opens up a lot of opportunities for other players as Lee gets uh, a great pass there to scores the two points. 22 points for Lee Guan He. Only problem is he hasn't had a lot of help. Even their secondary scorer in Kim Dong Ok has truly been limited here, Sedo. Well, that's a problem for the Thunders. Need everyone to show up, especially against the Long Lions. And now, Jubin Shin continues to wax hot. He has 18 points, trying to catch up to Lee. Well, you know, when you talk about the Guangzhou Long Lines, you, you talk about the depth and the firepower of this team, but Jubin Shin reminding everyone that he's still the top gunner of this team. Choi from outside. No good. He tracked down his own board. Underneath open was Hong Sun Kyo. Out to Lee. Another one for Lee Guan He. He is trying his very best to put his entire team on his shoulders. Well, Lee Guan He, undeniable how great his scoring prowess, pro prowess is. Sun to the cutting Ju. Ju Ming Shin. We'll try to get three points the traditional way. The top two scorers of the Summer Super 8 engaging in a shootout here. A big development here for Lee Guan He. He's got four fouls already. Very smart there for, for Zhu really to get to that area on the floor where, you know, the resistance wasn't as strong. Nice feel right now for Lee Guan He. He's been the best player for the Seoul Samsung Thunders. And like we said earlier, doing his very best to keep his team alive and in this contest. However, running into more troubles, picking up a sport foul. Chon, leaving it to Hong, good fake. Send it out to Chon. Extra pass, Choi from the corner, no good. Chang Ming Guk, the rebound. Chon was open. Zheng a little late in rushing out, but Thunder's not getting the bucket anyway. Another possession for them. Chon, nice pass to Hong. Wow, the Thunder's exhausted on that possession, not even getting points. Well, it's just the size, sheer size of the long lines causing the Thunder's problems. They cannot, you know, get a good shot off. You know. Here's Bakar, long bomb. No good. Zhang another rebound. Zhang Mingo has not yet scored in the game. Had four fouls by the, four, by the second quarter. And finally, he sees the bottom of the net there with that three-pointer. Well, got a feel here for the Seoul Samsung Thunders. Hong Sun Q. he's tried his very best here to, to really deal with these giants of the Guangzhou Long Lions. But right now, 
Long Lions just imposing their will at the moment on uh, the Thunders. Having some difficulties here inside the East Asian Games Macau, uh, the Dome in Macau. Lee Guan He has been subbed out of the game. Coach Lee Sang Min not wanting to risk losing his star player here in the third quarter. There's less than two and a half minutes remaining. Oh, well, they're uh, putting time back on the clock. Time should be 2 and 51, I believe. Oh, they're adjusting it now. It's two minutes and 42 seconds. Two minutes, 42 seconds should be the time. And defending for two minutes. There it is. Everything settled and we're about to resume action. This is the finals of the Asia League Summer Super 8. Winner takes all between the Guangzhou Long Lions and the Seoul Samsung Thunder. Mukhtar calling the shots now. Song Shuai. Moving it around. The Thunder still playing that zone. Zheng Zhen. 10 seconds on the shot clock. Zhao Min Guk trying not to pick up his fifth foul. Zheng, the hook shot. He can hit it beyond the three point line. He can hit it with a hook shot. What else can this guy not do? Well, he can hurt you in so many ways, Zheng Zhen. Just too many weapons here for Guangzhou. Chun Gi Wong unable to get it over the defender. 15-point lead for the Guangzhou Long Lions. They want to score a championship here. And they want to score revenge as well against the Samsung Thunders who defeated them in the elimination round. Wang Yue missing that time. Chuan rushing out to their side. Chang Min Guk stopping beyond the arc. No good. Offensive rebound for Chuan. Chang even underneath the basket. Just not getting it to fall. Eventually drawing a foul though from Cheng Chen. Well, it gets stressful sometimes dealing with this big man of the Guangzhou Long Lions. And you see it taking a toll that time on Jiang Min Guk. You play defense for 24, sec or 24 seconds against this Guangzhou team. Taking all the hits, all the bumps, and dealing with the size of of their front line and on the other end you also have to score and that time John Min Guk from, from point blank range just missing and these are just a few of you know the unlucky breaks you're seeing from Samsung but if you think about it it's not really unlucky because it is it, caused by this intimidation of this Guangzhou team throughout this contest this tournament every team that bumps into the Long Lions that's a key word. They become intimidated. We saw it against the NLEX Road Warriors in the semifinals. Before NLEX found their rhythm in the third period, they really looked intimidated by the size of Guangzhou. Mokhtar to the rack. Trying to leave it to Cheng Chun. Bad decision there. A turnover for the long lines. Almost a travel from Chun. Chang to Bei underneath. Defended by Heng Yi Feng. And even that, you know, past couple of plays, We've seen here, Samsung should just be down by nine at this point. But again, the size of uh, the Long Lions. Sheng to Mukhtar, they're moving that basketball. Look at the defense of the Koreans on a high level right now. Zhang asking for a foul. He was definitely hit by Wang Yue. But there was a shot clock buzzer even before that. Actually, one referee called the foul and the other called a 24-second violation. But when they talked things through, they decided that the shot clock violation went before the collision. We go back to the side of the Thunders. Sean. Nice pass to Bay. It's Song Shuai giving up a hard foul there. A playoff foul from so, Song Shuai as uh, Bei Kang Ryul was uh, attempting that shot underneath and you see how difficult it was for the Seoul Samson Thunders to really get good shots off especially against this tall front line there's, a, there's usually one player standing six foot eight six foot nine on the floor 
and you add another guy in Zheng Zhen right there, more problems for you. At every position, the Guangzhou Long Lions usually enjoy height advantage. That has been their ticket to the finals here in the H League Summer Super 8. Again, we're reminding you that come September, there's going to be an even bigger tournament brought to you by the H League. That's going to be the terrific 12 still to be played here in Macau over at Studio City. 10 seconds remaining on the shot clock, 11 on the game clock. Guangzhou moving it around, Song Shuai missing. Heng Yi Feng getting the offensive board, two seconds to shoot. Maktar realizes, puts it up front of the rim there. At the end of the third period, our score 59 47 for the Guangzhou. 59 to 47, a 12 point advantage for the long lines. You have one more quarter to bring you in the Asia League Summer Super 8. Stick around, we'll be back. One last quarter, 10 more minutes in this tournament. Will it be the Guangzhou Long Lions holding on to their advantage, or will the Seoul Samson Thunders overcome this and steal the championship? Wang Yue providing insurance for his squad with that putback. Well, the Thunders with a mountain to climb here in this fourth period. Guangzhou opening this fourth quarter with a putback from Wang Yue. Again, imposing. The shooters of Guangzhou, they have that confidence to take that shot because they know so someone, a teammate, will rebound for them, and that's what happened there. But on the other side, Seoul also able to execute, got this lead to 12. But something that posit that's working positively for the Seoul Samsung Thunders here, we're seeing, Sedel, that buckets have been much difficult for the Guangzhou long lines here in the second half compared to how it was at some points in the initial half. Lee Guan He missing there though. Zhang Min Gok trying to get the offensive board. Unsuccessful, losing it out of bounds. And you see the frustration on his body language. Yeah, Zhang Min Gok somehow has managed to stay out of foul trouble here. Foul, no, avoiding a fifth foul rather. Still in foul trouble with four. Lee Guan He also with four fouls. Maktar with the basketball. Heng Yi Feng. Cheng shoots over Kim Dong Uk. That's what he's shown here in the playoffs, his range. Uh, great play there for Guangzhou, able to spot Zheng Zhen, the, the seven footer, 11 points in the ballgame so far. 
Kim Dong-ok now. Chang and Cork from outside. He knew it was going to miss. He tried to give chase, and it's going to be a foul on Song Shui. Hitting Chong Gi Bom on the face. That's on number 15, Song Shui. That's his second round. And what was put on display there so was the Gong Wu Bang Chow Long Lion still fighting so very hard. Now, not taking this advantage they have for granted. You have a timeout on the floor. It's a 14 point lead for the Long Lions of Guangzhou. remaining in this fourth and final quarter of the Asian League Summer Super 8. The fouls picked up by the key individuals on the side of the Seoul Samsung Thunders have been a problem, but they've been able to, they were able to survive until maybe halfway through the third quarter, but they were really hurt when Lee Guan Hee picked so up so his fourth personal. Well, you know, they may not be a they stay in the ball game right now, Lee Guan Yi, of course. Nobody's fouled out yet. But this really affected their aggressiveness here on defense. Lee could not get that. AC, after he missed his shot, he could not fight for a rebound anymore because that runs the risk of him fouling out. Well, Lee, that time, you got to credit the defense of the Long Lions needed. You know, just make it tougher for him if you're the Long Lions. And Lee has been on a tear in this ball game. Just make it tough for him. Again, the foul trouble of Samsung. Allowing Jing Jin to get an easy shot. Chang Min Guk had four fouls since the second quarter. Unable to defend, really. Choi open from downtown. No good. Defensive rebound for Kim. Back out to Choi. Kim will be the one trying on a three, and he will be successful in that attempt. Well, they need to start hitting three balls if they want to catch up here. Guangzhou slowly pulling away, but again, the extra effort and the extra possession working well here for the Seoul Samsung Thunders. They still are facing a 13-point uh, deficit. Kim getting the rebound, passing it. Lee finds an opening downtown connection for Lee Guan He he's got 28 points deficit down to 10. Wow, you just gotta love the fight here from the Thunders. Long Lions look like you know they're about they're about ready to seal the deal, but back to back threes have put the Thunders back in it. Cheng being double team and it's gonna be Chon picking up a foul. They would rather see Chon Gi Bom pick up a foul rather than Kim Dong Ok, who was initially defending Chen Chen. Inbound goes to Chu. They've been trying to dump the ball down to Sung Min Yang. He's unsuccessful. As, I'm not sure if he's bored in this game already. Choi misses from outside. Ball oh, luckily bounces back to Lee Guan He. That's a great tap from Chun. Not a lot of flow on the offense of the Thunders. Kim will try again. They've been trying to get three points time and time again. Unsuccessful. 
Zhu getting his fifth board. Wang, uh, Samsung there getting second, third chances at a three ball. No goal for them. And that's been the case here. He's trailing by 10. And they have to stop Guangzhou from scoring as well. Five minutes and 38 remaining. Guangzhou up by 10. Eruption here in the finals, 28 points. However, his Samsung Thunder still down by 10. Zhu Ming Shin and Zheng Jin teaming up to lead the charge for the Guangzhou Long Lions. Well, on the part of the Thunders, the three guys leading the way for them in terms of scoring all in foul trouble. Well, Kim Dong Ok has taken care of his problems, only has two fouls. But he picked up, picked those up in the first quarter. Back to the action inside the Macau East Asian Games Dome. Long Lions. The kick out, cross court pass to Ju. Back to Sun Min Yang. Shot, no go. Go trying to get the rebound. Stolen away by Choi. Off he goes to the side of the Thunders. Chang from outside. Money on the three. The Thunders within seven. They refuse to be denied. And there's a steal for Kim Dong Ok. A foul given up by Heng. Unsportsmanlike foul, too. And suddenly, the Thunders of Samsung are resuscitated here in this game. That's just double whammy, double mistake for Heng Yifeng. He already threw the ball in that inside pass attempt towards Zheng Jin. And once he turned that ball over, committed that unsportsmanlike foul, he cannot afford back-to-back -back errors. Well, this is something that Guangzhou has to remember. They were also leading you know, by a, by a margin in uh, that game in the elimination round against Samsung. But you know, Samsung is not gonna stop putting pressure on you. Even though they're trailing, they're not gonna play differently. They're gonna keep plugging away at that deficit and eventually, you know, it will be up to you if you're going to crack under pressure or not. And so far, the Thunders you know, have done well and they're back in it. That's right. Kim Dong Ok from outside. No good. Lee, the rebound. He's blocked. Mukhtar tried to save it. Successful. Tian leaving it up for Go Kai. Fantastic find for Tian Yu Heng. You know, you were mentioning Sedelf, the fourth quarter of the first meeting between Gang Guangzhou and Samsung. The Long Lions were up by one point, 60 to 59, and that's when Samsung went on a 9 to nothing run. And they never looked back since. 4 and 15 to play here. This is the finals of the Asia League Summer Super 8. Uh, Chun Gi Bom taking the contact there. That's an offensive foul on Tian Yu Heng. But uh, the last two possessions of Samsung, they were able to get the shot that they liked. Unfortunately, it wouldn't go. And Guangzhou. Now protecting just a seven-point lead.
minutes, 12 seconds remaining in this ball game. This is the knockout finals of the Asia League Summer Super 8. It's been six fantastic days here in Macau, five days filled with basketball. Shadalijan Mukhtar having some trouble here in the last game of the tournament. Well, trouble from the field, but he's been filling up the stat sheet, helping his team out through other ways. But he might need to come up big here in the last four minutes in order for Guangzhou to secure this win. Lee Guan He, the backdoor cut, the feed for Kim, from Kim dong -ok. Well, Guangzhou just not finding an answer right now for Lee Guan He. He's got 30 points already. Well, can you imagine that against this really strong front line of Guangzhou getting your way against them? Sunmenyam missing. Rebound taken by the Thunders. This possession will be extremely important. Chang missing from outside. Well, that was the home run play for Samsung. Offensive foul called on Chu Min Shin. Huge call there. We'll see that. I I'm not sure about that call. I think Choi Yu and the ball moved. Didn't really get into it. He was able to plant his feet, but moved his body. That's right. That's what I saw as well. The feet were planted, but he was moving his, his hip. Nonetheless, we go back to the side of the Samsung Thunders. They put the ball in the hands of the reliable Lee. Goes cross court to Jang. Gets rid of the defender. Jang, short. Sung holding that ball up high. Transition play. Zhu gets it to go. Well, two misses there. They will live and die with that three point shot. The Seoul Samsung Thunders at that time. Zhang, two misses. Kim unsuccessful, two from outside. They've been taking a lot of three pointers here in the fourth quarter. Is that necessary at this point to know? Well, a couple of possessions, maybe not necessarily. The you know, lead is already down to five, really, and they could have gone through other ways with regards to running their offense, but it has been working for them. Another turnover for the Long Lions. That's what doomed them in their first meeting. He puts it up through the foul in the car. That's going to be number four on the Guangzhou guard. Lead a strong attack there, taking the bump. And attacking towards the body of Shenley Jen Tar. Well, Lee Guan He, you're, we're running out of superlatives out from this for this guy because he's just been absolutely terrific here for Samsung. You know, he, even in transition, actually transition has been his strength. He's, he's, a very, he's a very good rebounding guard. And he's really kept Samsung in the ball game. Without a doubt, 31 points in the finals. It's not yet done. That trophy at stake in this ball game. Two minutes remaining, just a five point lead for Guangzhou. The pressure being extended to the backboard by the Thunders. It's winning time inside the Macau East Asian Games Dome. The finals of the Asia League Summer Super 8. Sun goes to Mukhtar, puts up a three, too strong. Kim the rebound. The Thunders pushing, they decide to set it up. Sun Min Yang getting called for a foul. Oh wow, that's a big call right there. Jump Min Kuk not really known for his ability to penetrate the lane right there. Able to draw the foul on Sun Min Yang. And he'll go to the line for a chance to cut this lead to three. We are in for an exciting finish. You know, you know just the way, you know, you know, the way we want to finish this tournament because 
it's been exciting from start to finish here in the summer, you know, summer Super 8. No question, Jack makes this a one possession ball game with a minute and 37 remaining. And clawed their way back from 16 down. This was a 54 to 38 scoreline at one point. And right now, Guangzhou needing a basket. Yao puts it up, it's short. Another big opportunity for the Thunders. Sean, almost losing it, completely losing it. Yao, almost a turnover as well. And Zhu gets fouled by Kim. What a sequence there. Well, I, Chungi Bo, I thought he hurt himself as he drove to the basket. Yao may have gotten, a, gotten away with the travel there. That would have been huge. Yeah, that even that even in the previous possession, Gokai may have gotten away with steps, but Zhu Ming Shin, very clever that time, drew the foul on Kim Dong Ok. And right now, he has a chance here to give the Lions you know, some breathing space. Now you mentioned Chon Gi Bong getting hurt. And in the final minute and three seconds of this game, Coach Lee Sang Min left with no choice but to go to to go with this very seldom used reserve Song Ki Bin. Zhu gets the bounce on the second. Two for two, back to a five-point lead for Guangzhou. Now Zhu Ming Shin, very composed. 23 big points for him. What a three-pointer! Get Dong Ok! That could change everything. Well, it has to fall at some point right there for the Seoul Samsung Thunder. They've thrown up so many three-pointers three in this fourth quarter, especially when they needed those shots to fall. They couldn't get it to go. Kim Dong Ok! This time, no hesitation. They're down by two here. 54.9 seconds remaining. We play 24 seconds. Not the ball here. Not the ball here. And then we start. And we play for the eight. And we won. Through the screen here. Yeah, we'll turn it out. Do we get it? Go to the corner. Oh, we have this shoot. Oh, we have this shoot. Oh, we have this shoot. We get the ball. Dribbling. The corner. Coach Juan Antonio Orenga wanting to use as much time as they can here in the fourth period. Two-point lead only for the Guangzhou Long Lions. They're trying to hold on in the last 54.9 seconds. Zhang Min Guk, Kim Dong Uk, and the rest of the Seoul Samsung Thunders trying to fight back from a deficit as large as 16 points. Well, it's been three-point shooting here. 13 of 43 for the ball game for Seoul Samsung Thunders. Four of 15 in uh, this fourth period, non bigger than that shot by Kim Dong Ok. Sun Min Yang gets fouled. He will take free throws. But they were successful in the scheme that Coach Orengo wanted to play. Use the clock. Only seven seconds remaining when Sun got fouled. Well, Coach Orenga really, as much as possible, wanted to you know, use up all the shot clock. That was a. Uh, Foul called on Kim Dong Ok, his fourth. So now you have Lee Guan Hee, Kim Dong Ok, and Chang Min Guk, all with four fouls. Song calmly makes the first one. With this second, he can turn this into a two possession game. Struggling for him in the field, as you saw, one for seven only. Two for two from the big man. Turns this into a four-point lead. Two-possession game, 37.7 seconds remaining. 
in the Asia League Summer Super 8. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back with the exciting finish to this ball game. down by four points. Possession is theirs, 37.7 seconds to go. What needs to happen? Well, they need to get that quick attack going and hopefully get the ball back with, you know, you know right before the 24 second shot, uh, 24 second mark of this fourth period. They need to get a quick attack and get a defensive stop. Sean goes to the bucket. Kim. Decides to go closer, tries to flip it up, misses. Sean gets fouled there. It seems hurt for a bit. He looks okay now. But Chun Gi Pong throughout this ball game has just been fantastic. He's not scoring a lot of points, but he's been there, always at the right place, always at the right time. And he goes to the free throw line for two free throws. And here, still. A little under five seconds remaining if Samsung can get the ball back. But first and foremost, Chinji Boom needs to make these, make these two free throws. How about nine rebounds for the point guard of the Samsung Thunder? He will be tested at the free throw line. First one is good. Sean has played close to 38 minutes in this ball game. That's just remarkable. Also has five assists and five points. The second one. Too strong. Rebound taken by Guangzhou. Oh, no need to foul here. Oh, and that's going to be huge. It's an unsportsmanlike foul. Not so sure about that call right there. Well, obviously, the Thunder is trying to foul, but the rule book says so now you have to go for that basketball. I think as Yao Tian Ti was holding on to that ball, I think Choi was, you know, going for it. Oh, I, no, he went for the hand, rather. See that? And went for the right, right hand. Right arm. Right yeah, arm. Yes. Now Yao. Oh, he get, the first one. Getting a replay of that call. Now I'm, I'm more convinced that the referee made the right one right there. Coach Lee Sang Min sending out instructions. Yao splitting his freebies. But the big thing here is Guangzhou retains possession behind Coach Juan Antonio Orenga, the trophy that will be awarded to the winning team. And that is going to be a foul given up by Kim Dong-ok. His fifth foul. So that will be it for the captain of the Seoul Samsung Thunders. Kim Dong-ok will exit this game and this tournament as well. They'll have to hope that he'll have to hope from the bench that his teammates can work out a miracle here. On by four points, less than 20 seconds to go. Well, certainly a miracle needed, needed here for the Seoul Samsung Thunders. Mukhtar can seal the deal from the free throw line. But, you know, Samsung has shown us, you know, that you know, up until the final second, you have to fight even though you're trailing, even though your opponents are bigger. And, you know, Samsung trying to go quickly. They need the three here. They get it from the corner. No good. 
Rebound taken by Song Shuai, and he will be fouled, will be sent to the free throw line. This game looking more and more like a win for the Long Lions. Song Shuai, even with just one make here, can turn this into a three possession ball game. With only, with only 11.9 seconds remaining, that's going to be a tough mountain to climb for the Samsung Thunders. Well, you have to give credit here to Samsung for making a game out of it. What looked like a lost cause in the third period, somehow they've managed to keep it close and set the stage for a thrilling finish. But, you know, Long Lions, you know, the that cushion that they built in the first three periods really enough to weather the storm brought by the Thunders. That's right, Lee Guan He. That's his total now with 34 points and 10 rebounds. But his effort may not be enough. Heng Yi Feng will just dribble this out. The Guangzhou Long Lions, your champions in the Asia League Summer Super 8 2018. What a tournament it was for them. Their only loss of the tournament suffered in the hands of the Seoul Samsung Thunders in the elimination round. Now scoring revenge in the grandest stage of them all, the finals. They get revenge and the title, the championship. Well, great performance there. Hats off to the Guangzhou Long Lions. You know, they started very strong, led by this man, Zhu Ming Shin, with 25 points and five rebounds. And Samsung made a game out of it, but the way the Lions responded, Long Lions responded in that fourth period in crunch time, getting the stops and getting their free throws to go to wrap up this win and overall the best team in the tournament deservingly crowned right here at the Macau East Asian Games Dome. And that will do it from us here in Macau. Thank you for joining us for the duration of the Asia League Summer Super 8 once again. Congratulations to the Guangzhou Long Lions getting this win over the Seoul Samsung Thunders. 78 to 72 in the finals. Reminding you again that come September, we're gonna be bringing to you a much bigger event, a much bigger tournament in the terrific 12th, September 18 to 23. That's gonna happen over at Studio City. Still here in Macau numbers on your screens in just a bit we'll be talking to Chu Ming Shin who led his team to this victory with 25 points and right after we'll be having the awarding ceremony of the Asia League Summer Super 8 do stick around we'll be back Congratulations to the Guangzhou Long Lions, our champions for the Asia League Summer Super 8. And we are joined by Zhu Ming Shin of the Long Lions. He led the team with 25 points and five rebounds. And Zhu, you know, Samsung made a game out of it in the fourth period, but somehow you found the composure to get the win. Your thoughts? Uh,三星他们第四节打得特别厉害，然后你们这次有什么概念？因为你们也是第四节打得特别厉害，然后也就是还是有有办法赢球，你有什么概念？呃，因为我们在小组赛跟三星碰的时候，就他们就是一支非
We saw five days of basketball. In a span of six days, we played 16 games, but now we are ready to crown the teams that proved to be the best in this tournament. Let's start by calling out our presenters. To present, let's start with this modern China general manager, Mr. Ho Wen Tong. Warm round of applause, please. The CEO of Italy, the organizer of Summer Super 8, Mr. Matt Bayer. And the president of the Sports Bureau of Macau ICR government, organizer of Summer Super 8, Mr. Put Wen Put Fong. We'll begin our awarding ceremonies by giving out and honoring our second place or silver medalist of the Asia League Summer Super 8. Your second placers, silver medalists of the Asia League Summer Super 8, please give it up for the Seoul Samsung Thunders! And to present our second place medals, may we request to join them the CEO of Asia League organizer of Summer Super League, Mr. Matt Byer. 下面我们有请亚洲联赛创始人兼行政总裁马特先生为亚军颁发奖牌。The Seoul Samsung Thunders placed second in Group B of the elimination round and defeated and then won their semifinals to make it all the way into the final. They defeated the Inchon Etuland Elephants in the semifinals and set up their battle against the Guangzhou Law Lions here in what you just witnessed the finals of the Summer Super 8. Congratulations to our silver medalists. The Seoul Samsung Thunders. Thank you very much. And congratulations once again to Soul Samson Thunders. We move on to presenting your champions in the Asia League Summer Super 8 2018. And to present our medals and a trophy, we'll call on Mr. Goodwin Goodfrom, the president of the Sports Bureau of Macau SAR Government, organizer of Summer Super 8.
邀请我们的颁奖嘉宾，来自于中国澳门特别行政区政府体育局潘永泉局长，有请。Ladies and gentlemen, we give to you the champions, the Guangzhou Long Warriors. 二零一八超级大赛决赛的冠军，来自于广州龙狮队，他们是一号田雨恒。九号姚天一，十四号郭凯，十五号宋帅，十六号孙明阳，二十一号冯一峰，二十四号奚若丽江，三十二号王悦，五十号郑准，以及他们的冠军教练胡恩·安东尼奥·奥文加先生。Guangzhou All Lions placed first in Group B of the elimination round, overcame the Inlet Road Warriors in the semifinals, and then defeated the Seoul Samsung Thunders to win the second Asia League Summer Super A. 广州龙狮队在准备每次超级八夏季联赛当中，可谓是费尽一切努力啊，也是一个非常出色的战绩完成了小组赛的争夺。半决赛同样让人信服的击败了对手，杀入决赛。决赛中的对手曾经在小组赛击败过自己，但是广州龙狮的将士们一鼓作气，最终赢下了冠军。让我们把掌声送给广州龙狮队。
决赛的最有价值球员。我们将会在今年的九月十八到二十三号，欢迎各位继续来到中国澳门特别行政区亚洲联赛公司为大家送出非凡十二的精彩赛事，等待各位的参与。Thank you very much. This has been the Asia League Summer Super A. We'll see you in September. 再次感谢各位，我们在今年的九月份期待大家光临非凡十二。